Cognos Insight is a breakthrough in personal productivity, allowing for agile BI and scenario modeling with the business user in control. IBM Cognos Insight is a desktop application with an in-memory OLAP engine running unseen in the background. Cognos Insight empowers decision makers to independently take insight into action. Let's begin the demonstration. We'll first play the role of the business analyst. The business analyst works for a fictitious company called Future Chips. And Future Chips creates chips for technology products. In this case, the business analyst maintains a spreadsheet of competitor data. And this spreadsheet is located locally on his own personal computer. This is data that would not be found possibly on the enterprise. Let's start by first opening up IBM Cognos Insight by clicking on the IBM Cognos Insight desktop icon. We want to create a new workspace. A workspace is an area that allows you to create dashboards and scenarios based off of particular widgets. We'll click on the text widget to apply a title to our workspace and we'll call it Competitive Analysis. Next, we want to bring in that competitor data set that we talked about earlier. We simply drag and drop the spreadsheet onto the workspace and we get instant analysis. You'll notice that the company rows and competitor measure columns are similar to what we see in the spreadsheet. However, we're able to take advantage of the YOLAP gestures and really manipulate how we want to see this data. Simple drag and drops of these columns and rows gives us a different perspective. Dragging the unit sold over to the right hand side illustrates an explore point. The explore point allows us to drill down on the data. It also allows us to explore the data in a way that might be more intuitive than how we see it in the spreadsheet itself. Next we'll open up the content pane. We brought in data from our spreadsheet that we keep locally, but what if we want to merge that with enterprise data? Our business analyst has access to the Cognos 10 server and we're able to access the corporate data report. We'll merge that in with our particular data set that we had in the spreadsheet. The import data guide allows us to change the columns and rows however we see fit. The advanced mapping feature allows us to create hierarchies and parent-child relationships. It also allows us to map columns to columns if necessary between our two data sets. We'll hit finish to conclude the import. There you see that the future chip data set has now been implemented alongside the average competitor data set. The chart below shows the future chip data set in orange and the average competitor in blue. We did this easily and simply in only a matter of a few minutes. We'll close the content pane and we'll change our graph to a line chart. Next we want to take a look at some of the calculations. Cognos Insight has a series of built-in calculations. One of the more interesting ones is the traffic light. Using the explore point, we're able to take a look at how the traffic light can be changed by simply clicking on some of these items, such as net income or total expenses. You'll also notice that the graph changes as well as we go along. Let's remove this comparison. Next, let's look at a what if or scenario model, for example. In this particular case, what if our expenses were to decrease by 15%? How would that reflect against our competitors? This is a very, very powerful gesture, and it's very easy to do within Cognos Insight. We'll remove this particular item from our context. Again, repositioning the data so that we see it in a different light. changing up the graph itself to be a column graph. We're able to extend our model as well. Illustrating the 2012 target, the capability to enter in some data, 150 million in this respect, and then doing relative proportional spreading gives us the reflection that we need across all our columns. We add an additional member here called 2012 plan, which we'll use later on when we start to look at this from a managerial point of view. 
Nesting the plant alongside the year gives us a different perspective that we'll need as well. Intuitive gestures and rich visualizations along with right back for planning, the what if modeling, and the calculated members gives us a powerful interface. Let's save this file as plant expenses. Next we're going to take on the role of the business analyst manager. The manager for the business analyst wants to take a look at what has been concluded in this particular plan. And to do so, we're able to collaborate with each other. We simply share this file to Cognos Connection, and the business manager can come along and open up that plan within Cognos Insight. This is where additional features can be applied, or in this case, just simply changing up the plan slightly to allow for the Canadian plant to be reduced by 5 million and the West Coast plant to be increased by 5 million. Once that's complete, the plan is saved and our collaboration is finished. Next we want to look at this from an IT perspective. The business users today are demanding personal analytic tools. However, it's very important that IT has a nice roadmap or a glide path so that these silos of information can actually be used later on in the enterprise. Cognos Insight doesn't create silos of information. Instead, it has a perfect stream and glide path back to the enterprise. The administrator, or IT in this case, would have the capability to publish up any of the created files in Cognos Insight to the enterprise. Once that publish takes place, IT can apply governance as they see fit. In this case, they're applying security to each plant. It's necessary that we have this bridge between the business user and IT, and Cognos Insight answers that question. Once we're complete, we can save the file. The next role we're going to look at is that of the plant managers. The plant manager will come into their web interface, and they're able to actually open up their particular part of the plan in Cognos Insight in connected mode. With Cognos Insight open, you'll see that the plant manager only sees what they're allowed to see, and they're only able to edit certain aspects of this plan. They don't have all the same capabilities from the authoring point of view that they did in Cognos Insight originally. Once the plan is augmented based off the 2012 target, the plant manager is able to submit these changes and commit them back to the master plan. Let's reflect on what we've just done. To begin with, the business analyst brought in a data set that he maintained locally on his own machine. But in order to make that comparison against the corporate data, he had to import data from the enterprise server. By doing so, he then came up with a scenario that he was able to use as a plan going forward. We saved that and shared it to Cognos Connection, whereby his management was able to review it and change it as necessary. Once those changes took place, IT was then able to publish that to the enterprise. Upon publishing that to the enterprise, they were able to apply governance, security, and additional values as necessary. The plant manager is able to open up their particular part of the plan and make forecasts based off the 2012 targets for their plan. Then they're able to submit that back to the enterprise. Cognos Insight brings data discovery and planning features to the business user with a good tie back to the enterprise. That's the power of Cognos Insight. Let's take a look at the 60 second publish. Never before has it been so easy to get data into Cognos. As this 60 second demonstration shows, we have taken a spreadsheet, dropped it into the workspace, and then proceeded to show a visual analysis of that particular data set. We're then publishing it up to the enterprise. This might be interesting for a rapid prototype type of scenario or particularly in a dev environment, for example. 
But essentially, we're showing how fast we can get data created and up into the Cognos Enterprise itself. To illustrate how fast this is taking place, we've gone out to Business Insight, our authored management tool. You'll see that we drag and drop the widget that we created back in Cognos Insight onto the canvas. That illustrates the 60 second publish. Next, let's take a look at a file that we created in Cognos Insight. This is the Performance Manager book. The Performance Manager book was created by Meg Dussault, Roland Mossaman, and Patrick Mossaman. It reflects the various operations within an entire organization. In our case, we're looking at the Finance chapter. The Finance chapter results around a series of tabs at the bottom called General Ledger, General Ledger by RC, Accounts Payable and Receivable, Accounts Payable by Country, AR by Organization, and so on. This particular example shows the true power behind Cognos Insight in terms of its presentation layer, its dashboard capabilities, scenario modeling, drill down capabilities, and ease of use. We've implemented the actual Performance Manager Finance chapter into this scenario as well. Cognos Insight brings powerful personal data exploration to the end user, making a positive difference for the 